In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform basic troubleshooting methods for your SR Smith pool lift. The lift is comprised of several components critical for proper operation. These are the frame structure, which includes the mast, the actuator arm, and the seat assembly. The activation components, which are the actuator and the motor assembly, and lastly, the control components, which are the control box, battery pack, charger, and the hand control. If your SR Smith lift isn't functioning as it should, closely inspect the lift to ensure that everything is connected and has not been unintentionally disabled. Next, check the battery level LEDs on the front of the control box. A fully charged battery pack will illuminate green and above 50% on the LED. If the battery is showing less than 25% and the red LED is lit, do not use the lift, as the battery may not have enough power for a full operation. Remove the lift from service until the battery is fully charged or the battery is replaced with a fully charged unit. It is important to remember to charge the battery when the lift is not in service. It's critical to not let the battery fully discharge as this can affect battery life and performance. To charge the battery pack, connect it to the charger. The indicator LED on the battery pack will illuminate red indicating that the battery pack is charging. If the LED indicator on the battery pack is showing a flashing red LED when connected to the charger, the battery pack is not functioning properly and needs to be replaced. When the indicator LED is green on the battery pack, it is fully charged. If the battery pack has been discharged too low, or if the battery pack has not been charging for a long period of time, it may have been damaged and require replacement. Should this be the case, the indicator LED may not illuminate at all. Use a multimeter to test the battery by placing the positive probe on the far left terminal and the negative probe on the terminal directly next to it. Any reading below 12 volts will indicate that the battery pack has discharged too much and needs to be replaced. If the battery pack is fully charged and the lift still does not operate, the lift controls need to be checked. First, test the functions of the touchpad by pressing the up and down and left and right control buttons. If the lift operates correctly, Test the functions of the hand control. Press the up and down and left and right control buttons on the hand control. If the lift does not operate correctly, the hand control may need to be replaced. To replace the hand control, simply unplug the old hand control from the control box and replace it with a new unit. Make sure the new control is securely connected to the control box. At this point, if the lift still does not operate, the control box is not operational and may need to be replaced. Congratulations, you have completed the Level 1 Basic Troubleshooting video. Please proceed to Level 2 Advanced Troubleshooting video for more information.